Right now, it's Sanchez sending it high. Looking for space in behind the reds. It's a good lift. What I like from here is John O'Lance sends he's got advantage and flattens up and just sits right on top of the defence. Last year, James Tuttle. Tuttle from right in front, and he hits that sweet. Through it goes. Inside the Huggerares and Radthorne now boss with the Queensland Reds. Bertrand, who love the inside ball there. The set piece play works. An absolute treat. If he asks him that again, Paul Williams, there's a look at the penalty. Yeah, that's a really easy picture for the referee to see. You can see James Tonella Tupo. Under five to play in the first half here. He settles into his pre-kick routine Tuttle. Just the one blemish tonight. That's a nice strike. It's got the legs and it's over the crossbar. Martin Landajo. Over the first day. scrum half. Comes into the fray for the home team. Here goes Timu. Caleb Timu connects with Karevi in turn for Fayoai Sortia. Across it down Gunu. Down Gunu. That's some kind of try from the Queensland Reds. Landaho. In it goes. It's taken 81 minutes, but now the Hagaris scrum is working. Over the park to Hernandez. Hernandez, five away. Landajo, was there a knock on there? No, keeps it alive for Leguzamon. Matera. One away. Can the Reds limit the damage to just the one converted try against them today? Numbers finally out to the left. The backs finally get their hands on it. And the Reds climb in and say thank you very much. Come tight, come wide, we don't care. We've got your measure. It looked as though it was Andrew Reddy on the ball the last play of the game, or maybe even Benny Lucas, can't quite tell. Mark here. But that sums up the 80 minute performance from the Queensland Reds. They'll put this into touch. And this is a massive away win for the Queensland side. Ben Lucas taps it and knocks it in a touch for the first time in five long years. The Queensland Reds have won three on the bounce.